Welcome all now to the Royal Road Trip. Kate and Will hiking this morning after a glamorous double date with the King and Queen of Bhutan. And they're also opening up about their trip and how much they miss George and Charlotte. ABC's Lama Hassan has all the details now from London. Good morning, Lama. And good morning to you, Amy. Well, yes, after that private dinner with the King and Queen of Bhutan, there was no rest for William and Kate. Oh, no, they were up at the crack of dawn to go on that grueling six-hour hike to see a stunning Buddhist monastery. This morning, William and Kate taking a romantic royal hike up this glorious mountain on the trail to see the ancient Tiger's Nest Monastery built into the side of a cliff 10,000 feet above sea level. Kate donning knee-high boots and a leather vest. William wiping sweat from his brow. Not Kate. She appeared unfazed by the intense trek, soaking in the stunning scenery instead. But a week-long trip without their two little ones in tow is beginning to take its toll. Massively, yeah, of course. And we're looking forward to seeing them, but they're in good hands. <laughs> Overnight, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge stepping out for a private dinner with the King and Queen of Bhutan. Kate wearing a beautifully embroidered Tory birch dress, retailing at just over $1,400. And boy, did she wear it well. The royals making the most of their trip to Bhutan, jumping in and trying a game of archery. Kate firing her arrow and misses the target. <laughs> William wasn't much better at it either. <laughs> Throughout their whirlwind tour of India and Bhutan, the royal duo have been dazzling their hosts and wowing the crowd at every event, not putting a foot wrong. And perhaps the most anticipated moment will be at the majestic Taj Mahal, where William's late mother, Princess Diana, was famously photographed in 1992. You didn't need to hear any words to, to get the message that she was alone, she was unhappy, um, but that she still looked like a million dollars in front of the Taj Mahal. I think what he and Kate really want to do is to create their own memories, to create new memories. So the question everybody wants to know the answer to is, will William and Kate sit on that iconic bench just as Diana did 24 years ago? Well, the jury is still out, but we are learning some new information this morning. Reportedly, what the Bhutanese women were singing to Prince William during that archery contest to distract their rivals. Get this, they were apparently singing to him, you're bold, you're a boldy, your nose is really big, as well as other obscenities that I'm not going to repeat. Kate reportedly being stunned by all of this, but in the end, taking it pretty well, Amy. I, my jaw dropped <laughs> when that information came across the wires. Uh, what was their reaction? And, and by the way, who had to deliver that news to them, the translation? <laughs> Well, I think Kate was, uh, did ask a translator and she was given this verse. And of course, you could, there was a still of her looking really shocked. But in the end, she said it was all for a laugh. And that's what they traditionally do, Amy. All right. Handling it with grace once again. <laughs> Lama, thank you so much. Probably better than I would have handled that. You can see more of the best moments from the royal trip on our website, goodmorningamerica.com on Yahoo. Can you imagine Amy? I, oh, <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> I didn't know that I would have handled Hold that. Hold my ears. <laughs>